It's your girl T and I am back with another video. Um, I really want this camera to stay up, but it's gonna keep leaning back, so we gotta do what we gotta do. And today I'm doing a mukbang, mukbang. I don't know how to say it. With Zaxby's. You feel me? Um, and I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm in the car with my mom. You know what I'm saying? She's to my right. And she oh, I forgot I had sauce in here, so when I picked it up, it just it just got all over my stuff. I'm a catch-up girl when it comes to Zach's piece, so that's got all well, got all my stuff. Anyways, I'm only gonna ask me some questions, and I'm gonna eat, and we're gonna see what she says. Now I don't I don't know exactly what she gonna ask me, but we're gonna see. All right, mom, I'm ready when you are. Why you sound nervous? <laughs> Cause I don't know what you've been ask me. Okay. So, My first question, have you ever snuck out of the house? Hello? Huh? Okay. I can see it, because you know they say you can't multitask. No, you can multitask. Ask it again, please. Have you ever snuck out of the house? Snuck. If so, what age? Whoa, now you... you I can't, I can't be overwhelmed. Okay, take your time, sis. But no, I haven't sucked it out, seriously. Oh. I want to, though. I can't, you know what I'm saying, I'm too old now. But, oh. I'm sad that I've never got that experience. I was gonna say, if you stick out, I'll be like, why the hell you can do it? What are you doing? Who cares? I want that experience so bad. I'm like, okay, listen. If anybody young ever watches this, Please don't stick out of the house. I'm not encouraging it. But me personally, I think about stuff now, and that, that's like on my bucket list. I want to have the exhilarating rush of like, I did this, I could get caught at any moment. Back then, though, I would never have done that. I'm too scary. Well, I was too scary, and I'm too scary now. Either way, though, no, I haven't done that. But I would have. I should have. No, you shouldn't have. I should have. For what? <laughs> it's just... And I don't nothing crazy just to be like, oh my gosh, ugh, ugh. Okay. You get, if you would've got caught, what should I have done? Just chill out, relax. You know what I'm saying, vibe, just vibe. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know what I have. Uh -huh. <laughs> have you ever smoked weed? Mm -hmm. We got time. <laughs> That answers that. What age? <laughs> Have you ever smoked weed? Based on your non-response, I took that as a yes. So my follow-up was, what age? Don't just say it to them. I want to know too. I'm asking questions. 21. First of all, I know you lying. What age? I don't remember. It's not like you could get in trouble for it now. I know. Now I'm just playing. I really don't remember. I was in high school. Oh Lord. I remember we had this, we had this plan. I was in early college in high school. And so we were like, we went to um the college together. So we would like not go to high school, we would go to a college. And we had this plan. What do we call it? Candyland. We called it Candyland. We went down to the beach, and the kids who knew what the weed was brought weed. And in hindsight, it wasn't safe. And I'm letting you drive my car to school, thinking, oh, let her have fun with her friends. She's I did have fun with my friends. Early college, doing good. And you and your little friends going to get... These were scholars. I don't care about y'all being scholars. Y'all was high scholars. Scholars. Oh, no. You're, That's how we got smart. Dang how y'all got smart. 
I don't condone uh, using drugs, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, um, what is your pet peeve? Girl. Oh, um. Um, I really, really don't like when people are telling me like they're, pe I said people, <laughs> when people tell me they're going to do something and then they don't do it. Cause it was like, you could have kept that. So I really, that's really like my favorite. Oh, I feel like I knew the answer yeah. to that. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? Start a YouTube channel. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. I'm really lame. Oh, that was nasty. Hold on. <laughs> Um, I really am lame. Like, I'll just decide. I don't do nothing. If I had to recant my life, the wildest thing I probably did was go to the doggone beach with a bunch of high school kids and smoke random weed. Like, I don't really do much. Oh, wildest. In college, I did go to this party. <laughs> okay, in college. And it's not really wild in terms of college, but it's the wildest thing I've done. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's called the barnyard or something, I think. Oh. I went to this party where you had to take a bus. Mm -hmm. And you go, and it's like a big barn. Whole bunch of black people. You know it's lit. And you like dress, and you be in a bar, and you just party. The kids be cooking chicken. You go eat chicken. I don't know where the chicken from. I shouldn't eat the chicken. You get drunk. And then you just, and it's like in the middle of nowhere. Anything could happen. And they draw you back too. Oh, that's why I stayed prayed up. I stayed that was crazy. I almost fought somebody. That was very. Nah, yeah, fun though. Who in your family are you closest to? <clears throat> My dog Louie. Oh. Got her. Oh, okay. First. I'm just playing. My mom. Mm. That's like my bestie for real. Damn. Go ahead. You're making it lame. I'm listening. Hard. I ain't finna hype you now. Oh, thank you. I'm ready for the compliments. Let's go. Bro, I got a beat going. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my friend. I love her. That's my bestie. Oh, thank you. You're my bestie too. I knew that. Yep. I'm my only friend. First of all, don't put my business in the streets. Because my business is my business. This is not my YouTube. This is yours. Do not put my business in the streets. Because you do not know if you're my only friend or not. And if you are, these people don't care. No. Do not put them Okay, you know what's still talking about it. Because you. We almost done. Okay, mom. What meme represents you? Um. Okay, I'm gonna insert that and let me tell y'all. I got. I gotta think about that one, and I'm. I'm just show y'all right here this this general general area. But it's gonna be something something crazy, something chaotic. Cause that's how I'm feeling right now. But yeah, I'm, I gotta show y'all. What is the worst lie you've ever told as a kid? I don't lie. You just lie. Oh. How you know? Cause you lie, and it be stupid lies. Like, oh. y'all tell her that. It be so dumb. Did y'all turn on me? I thought we was locked in. What's tea? Anyways, um, okay. This lie is actually very dumb. Don't be like me. Okay, as a kid, I've always had a phone. My mom is very big on safety. I was in elementary school, and I really hope my camera doesn't die on me because I'm about to switch my phone, and the quality is so different. Y'all gonna be able to tell. Either way, as a kid. I always had a phone. So I was at school. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? You don't know? You don't know in a second. My mom knows this because they have it. Anyway, I was at school. We was at a recess. I was with my group of friends. There was this guy that was pestering me. And I kid y'all not, the little boy was just messing with me. I've always had a shape, um, but I've always been tall as well. So imagine how I stood out. I was always picked on. I was, I was actually a bully. Um, and I was always like, bullshit was always coming on my body. I never liked it. He was actually touching me though. He was actually like touching my butt. 
And so I kept telling him to stop, right? <laughs> I kept saying, stop, stop, stop. He wasn't listening. He wasn't getting it. So I had to turn it up and down. You know what I'm saying? Like, get a little oomph in it. Because, you know, you know what I'm saying? So at this particular moment, for some reason, I had my phone in my back pocket. As I said, I was always a little shapely. I don't know what possessed the phone to butt down my mama's <laughs> as I'm walking with my friends. And this guy touches me. Or at least this is the lie I told myself. Either way, I was cursing on the phone. What did I say? Do you remember what I said? You was like... Did I say, like, stop effing touching me? Yep, keep your effing hands off me before I beat your A. F you. Touch me again, I'm gonna F you up. Yeah. Uh, a whole slew of stuff I didn't even know you knew. Yeah, to I had say. to put out a dictionary on him. He won't listen. I kept saying stop, he didn't listen. Either way, so this is what lock him in, right? I didn't know. I don't check up my phone, dude. So I'm a good girl. I don't be on my phone in school. You know what I'm saying? I could have been on the phone. Just drrr, drrr, drrr. no. I get home. Here go my mom. As soon as I walk in the door, right? Hey, hey, I'm innocent. Hey, you got something to tell me? No. What are you talking about? I didn't even tell I was getting harassed because I'm like I handled it. You know what I'm saying? My mama told me to tell you type vibes to him. I'm like no. She hit me with the you sure? Now as an adult. In hindsight, I'm like, 20, you should have spilled to me. As a kid, I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. No, I asked you, I said, do you curse? Dang. And you said, no, ma'am. I said, have you ever cursed? You see what I'm saying? And that direct question, now I feel super dumb. I wish I didn't know that right now. Because now I feel extra to them. You get what I'm saying? Because that direct question should have led me to know she know I was cursing. Either way, I answered no. Because who going to fold? Not me. You get what I'm saying? I should have folded. Definitely should have folded. I'm telling this lady no. Whole time she got hardcore evidence. I'm talking about dig deep in the files. You get what I'm saying? Like, can prove it. I done said no to all her questions. This lady pulled out the phone, played me the voicemail. Elementary school. Little old me, dumbfounded. I'm talking about just standing there, like the little me. The little emoji just standing there looking stupid. I didn't know what to do. I could have just took off running out the door. You know what I'm saying? Ran away for the rest of my life. But what am I supposed to do? Going nowhere. So that was the worst lie I ever told. Cause it was just like, that was so dumb of me. You get what I'm saying? She gave me the hint that she knew and I could have just got out of it. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes the punishment is better when you touch it. So kids, especially when they kind of hint that they know, when she said, do you curse? I should have said all the time. Like I should have just, <laughs> I should have said, yeah. Like I can curse right now if you want me to, I could demonstrate. So yeah, that was the worst lie. And you wasn't even in trouble for cursing because I heard the boy bothering you. Yeah. So I wasn't even mad at you cursing. I was mad because you lied about cursing. Dang. That's what got you the punishment. Don't be like me. You better. All right. Did you used to sneak and watch dirty movies when you were? Oh young? my gosh. Next question. <laughs> That's it. Jesus Christ! I did not. Now listen. I told this lady, hey, let's keep it spicy. Never did I expect her to ask me that. We always had candy. That is so funny. Okay, let me tell y'all how this happened. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My toes is currently backwards. I don't know. I've been praying. All right, let me tell you what happened. I genuinely, not gonna lie. The answer is kind of yes, but let me tell you how. Let me tell you how. One day I walked in my room. I swear to you, I was watching a movie. I was super young. Not like crazy young, like creepy young. But I was way younger. We were living in... Was it Mission Point? At this, I think it was Mission Point. That's how young I was. I came in. Do you remember I came one day and actually I said, does this show what we watch on the cable bill? Oh, <laughs> do you remember that? Do you remember that? No. Okay, I was so young. I came in the room after, I think I had took a shower or something. I came out after watching the movie and it was late at night. And all I seen was people doing the do. And so, yes, I should have just clicked off but I was I was shocked and then I was, I was kind of intrigued because I was like well hold on what is this and how did it get here that was the first thing so I was like I was watching the movie I did not click on this because I I told you I was very lame I didn't know how to get to that stuff that taught me how to get to that stuff so I didn't immediately run to my mom I ain't gonna lie I was so perplexed because I was like well am I gonna get caught that was my thing I was like is this gonna mean that she gonna think I was watching this stuff so I was freaking out in the room for a second my first thought, clear your name, right? I said, this is a mission. You can't let her know that you was one watching it, right? Even though I wasn't like watching it, she can't know that I, it was on my TV. And secondly, that was just the first mission. Don't even worry about it. I ran to her as a kid, right? I'm like, clear your name. I said, hey, 
And she's like, hey. I said, the cable bill doesn't show like what we watch, right? Her friend just was like, oh no, you know, it just show like it's just a plan, right? And so I'm just like, well, I don't know if she understood what I'm trying to say. But it don't show like the specific, like, and I ain't use these words, so I'm a kid, right? But I'm trying to get her to know, like, it don't show the specifics, right? And she said, no, I'm telling you, that whole month I was on eggshells waiting on her to come to me and be like, well, why is this show on here? Oh my gosh, I was so scared. So, technically, yes. So you didn't turn, you just sat there and watched the BNA? Not the whole time, no. Oh. I freaked out. Why you just say, say, Ma, it was something nasty on my TV? Oh, heck no, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. In we, hindsight, I should have. We talked about honesty. Was this before or after the cussing out part with the little boy? Before. It was before. Oh. Definitely before. Right. So you was like, I got away with it one time. Let me just try again. Well, that, I didn't lie. You didn't ask me anything. <laughs> I just had to clear my name. Okay. Last question. All right. Let's wrap it up, y'all. Have you ever walked in on your parents having sex? No. But let me tell y'all. Thank God. Let me tell. I know I ain't mean I ain't Oof. mean how this many stories. I almost cursed. I was was that crazy. a possibility? I was just saying. Ah! Let me Why tell you. Scream? I have a cousin who I love like a mother, right? I ain't gonna say her name because if she watched it, she's gonna kick my behind. I thought one time I was at her house. I was very young as a lot of stuff happened when I was young, I ain't gonna lie. My life born now, but I came into her room. And she had her man, her man over, and oh, was I sleeping in the room? I forgot how it happened. And I maybe I was dreaming, but I could have sworn I went to sleep, right? I could have sworn I woke up to these people doing the do. I could have sworn that, right? I just got out of the bed and I went in the living room and laid on the couch. I didn't say nothing. Now, in hindsight, I should have known. For one, she wouldn't do that. Me as a kid, not thinking. Well, I wasn't a kid kid. But, you know what I'm saying? Either way, I just know she wouldn't do that. But, also, if I was to get out of the room and leave, people who doing the do gonna stop, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know why I do videos with my mom. This is the first and last y'all gonna see. <laughs> Anyways. So, the next day, she all just happy and jolly. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking she happy and jolly because she just got this stuff done to her. Mm -hmm. And so I'm so uneasy. I'm talking about I'm sitting there like the, the, the thing again, just like this. And they're just walking around the house all happy. I'm the only one distraught, throwing up, sick, fever. You get what I'm saying? And so she just like, she it's could so see dramatic. it. I was so undone. Mm -hmm. I was unraveled, mom. A puddle of it's sadness. so dramatic. So she just sit there, she like looking at me like, what's wrong with you? And how can I tell to somebody, you and your man was having sex while I was in the bed? How can you say that to somebody? You could have asked her. I could have asked her, but do I have a history of just saying stuff? No. I didn't talk about the porn on my TV. I didn't talk about me cursing that boy out. I didn't talk about me having a weed party on the beach. I'm not just finna just say stuff. You would think I would have learned my lesson by now. No, I don't learn lessons. I sat there and I became uneasy. I don't think I told her that until, I know I told her that eventually. And she was like, heck no, we didn't do that. So I don't know what made me think that. I just think I heard some rustling, some tussling, <laughs> I don't know. So I love it. But no, I have never heard my parents having sex or walked in on my parents having sex. Oh, thank God. Any, anything else, that's it. No, that's it. Anything else you want to know? I don't know, cause this should last year. Weed parties and all this carrying on. Got lit. When I'm thinking you at college learning. I was a high schooler. And then you first smoked weed in high school. I'm gonna tell y'all my first edible store one day. My friends had me on the floor. And here I go thinking you got good friends. Sorry y'all, just ruined y'all reputation. Gang gang. Well, I'll tell you. All right, y'all. It's nice seeing y'all. Nice talking to y'all. I'm gonna call y'all the liars. I think. Don't, oh, some people don't want to be called. Liars. What about the thieves? Anyway, thank y'all for watching the video. Bandits. The bandits. Yeah. 
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all next time.